Hey guys, Pastor Dan here from Calvary Chapel, Iderma in Japan. It's a great time to be alive and it's a great time to know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. I just want to encourage you guys that God is on the throne and he's got a plan. I know things are looking bad. You know, Jonah saw things looking bad. He was there in the belly of the well. And he was being washed around like a washing machine in the digestive juices of this fish for three days and three nights. And when he all of a sudden felt faint, it says, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. I want to encourage you to remember the Lord. But see, Jonah's remembering of the Lord wasn't in a historical way. Jonah's remembering of the Lord wasn't in a future ministerial way. Jonah's remembering of the Lord wasn't about his own life, wasn't even about him. He saw the Lord in such a new way that he never understood before. He was running from God who wanted to go save the Syrian people, the Assyrian people, the Ninevites. And he wanted to bring, God wanted to bring salvation to these people. And he wasn't mad at them. But Jonah didn't want to go. And there he was in that well. He's sick. He's near death. He's got toilet paper. I mean, seaweed wrapped around his head. I know it's funny because everybody's buying toilet paper and they got toilet paper around their head and around their rooms and all the videos and everything. And by the way, on your videos, pastors, smile. Use your teeth. Y'all look dead. Y'all look so somber. You know, I know people are dying, but you know what? People were dying every day before. But your relationship with Jesus Christ is greater than ever if you're trusting in him. And so at this time, Jonah was sitting there and he has this new vision of Jesus Christ, of God himself in the throne of heaven. And he sees God as a merciful, loving God who wants to save the world. And he says there in Jonah 2, 9, those who regard worthless idols forsake their own mercy. Nihongo de in Japanese, munashi guzo ni kokoro todomeru mono wa jibun e no megumi o ste sarimasu. And what that means, ste sarimasu means throwing things away, disregarding things. And those who regard, those who are right now in a difficult time running to the idols, they're the ones who are disregarding the mercy of God. God's not mad at them. He's not ready to strike them with a lightning bolt. No, God is, is begging and pleading with them. He's got his hand out all day long. Take my hand. I got mercy for you. And people are smacking it away. Now this rock over here has got, got the game on. And that's that's furthest thing from the truth. And Jonah all of a sudden realized how much God loved the people. And so... How much do you see God in the same way? How much do you love the people that God loves? And we need to get the message out. We need to not throw away the message of the gospel at this time. We're talking so much about the sickness. It's difficult. It's hard. I know people who have died that doesn't remove Jesus off the throne, sitting next to God the Father, advocating on our behalf, and he's getting ready, putting on his clothes. They're bringing the horse out. I don't know if he's getting on a horse. That, that's the second coming, but they're still getting that out. They're still getting ready, but the rapture's coming, guys. Put a smile on your face, share the gospel, and let's love on the people the way God does. God bless you guys. May you have a great uh, weekend, a week, I guess now. And as I leave here, I'm going to show you this. This is the graveyard that I'm in. And this is the idol that people... Oops, where'd the idol go? There he is, she. That's a she. That's a, a female Buddhist Buddha or a transvestite Buddha. I don't know of you Buddha experts know, but this is what people are exchanging the mercy of God for.
Oh, may we not exchange God's mercy for something so devastating as that. There is no hope in that, only in the living God. God bless you guys.